What's up, my favorite people? My soul fam, my name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for all my, thank you to all my ride and dies. The ones that's been kicking with me from the beginning. Yes, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All the love, all the support, the donations, just rocking with me. Thank you. Thank you for my newbies, my subscribers. Welcome. And I'm honored. Okay. For those of you that are here for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for clicking and giving me a chance to read for you. Okay. So just a quick announcement. Um, collective read. I'm giving away two free readings giveaway August 15th. The announce, uh, the, I will announce the two winners. And um, what I'm doing is I'm doing collective reads. I'm adding um, new stuff um, to the channel. And I need you guys' feedback. So I'm so I need your feedback so much so that I am going to give away these readings, okay? So I've done two collective reads so far. So if you go back to those collective reads and um, actually look at them and give me feedback and enter in, you enter by commenting, um, liking or disliking, it doesn't matter, um, sharing, and you have to be a subscriber. And they come out, my collector reads come out every Saturday. I did not do it today because I didn't have time. But um, next Saturday is going to be on. And then I'm going to um, do the um, the announcement, as I said, August 15th. So don't miss out because I'm not doing, I'm not doing personal reads right now. So this is your chance to get you a personal read, okay? All right, so enough of that. If you're if this if you're new, I mean if you are no, <laughs> if this is your first time, we um a little bit about the channel is we seek the truth and nothing but the truth. We have encouraging words and sound advice. We laugh and cut it up. We keep it real. We keep it one hundred. It may cut. It may offend you, but it's nothing person. It's personal. It's all in love. It is solely for you to become unstuck unbothered and I come out of vicious cycle and move forward towards your destiny and your purpose for life. Okay. That's strictly what my goal is. Okay. All about that healing. All right. If you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you, then click the like, subscribe and share button and comment, comment, comment. I love those comments. Okay. My readings are timeless. Readings can go vice versa. The energy can go vice versa, guys, okay? Take what resonates and let go of what doesn't. Um, no gender bias here, only male and female energy, whichever one you associate with. And these are all general readings, okay? All general, not personal readings, general, okay? All right, healing is the key to our happiness and success. Therefore, my readings will always come from a healing perspective. Now let's get into it. We are honoring the sign of Aquarius. Bam, and there it is. All right, Aquarius. Okay, so um, we're gonna channel what spirit has for us today. We have the tarot here. We pass, present, future, and outcome. We have um, love messages, and we have the love oracle, okay. All right, so I hit that a little bit too much. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Okay, so let's get into it. Your overall energy. <laughs> what is up? Okay, everybody's walking away, but this is the season to walk away because we just got out, out of a retrograde. Okay, so bam, there it is. Your overall energy is walking away. Okay, so however, what I see first off, okay, is this person is walking away. This person has walked outside the gate, but you know what? They still looking back, okay? So let's see what's going on with this. All right, so palm tree. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we have palm tree to... um to uh, 
clarify and palm tree is stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. All right. And so, um, uh, you this would be fine. I keep seeing a glare, but this this is fine. Anyway, so um, palm tree. Okay, so what I'm seeing and what I, okay, so I said this person was looking back. This person is looking back to make sure that what I'm getting from this. The reason why this person is looking back, they're not looking back at the person that they left. The person that this this person here is. Um, this person is had was ready to leave, was more than ready to leave. The love was gone. They sat in this um they sat in this um relationship way too long, way over the um ex expiration period um due to all kind of influence from other people. Um this person when they moved, when they walked away, their mindset was um to move to something more stable something more secure someone they can grow and build more with this person that they were with they couldn't grow no more with this person they that they had grown outgrown this person and so they wanted a love that would endure the test the test of time flexibility um, and within the relationship. So they, why they were in this, why, why they were in this relationship, I believe, and why this is, this, this relationship was, um, they sat in this relationship so long, so long and it was expired is because, um, what I'm getting is fear they had established a relationship with this person. They have built, uh, uh, they have built security. They have built stability with this person. However, um, what they built with this person that, that this, this particular person, it wasn't enough. They want, they wanted, what they want to do is leave a legacy. They want to leave a legacy and um, they wanted to have a better type of relationship, a loving type relationship. They wanted security in love, security, um, loyalty, commitment. They wanted something where that was strong, that was unbreakable. And they knew they had somebody in mind. They already, this person was leaving this person to go to someone else that they know um, they supposed to be with, that they can build with. And I believe it's you Aquarius, or this could be you Aquarius that you are actually um, leaving someone for. You switch it whichever way. But this person um, could be emotionally left this person or physically left this person let me put that out there because this could be emotionally have left this person and they still with them however it's inevitable if they emotionally left this person they're getting ready to physically physically leave this person because they are ready to build they are ready to have something of substance and something strong and unbreakable they are ready to have that bond with the person that they truly, truly love and want to be with. Okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. Okay. Like, I, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, in the past, in the past, um, like I said, this person left somebody they was already with. So in the past, this person was building and they, this person was building with this person, with this person. They built, um, see these pentacle pentacles, they built a stable foundation, um, stability, security, um, they really loved this person. They was comp. They was um, compatible when this all started out. 
But, um, and here's, this is what they were building. This is the um, number 19 foundation. This is, this is what they were building. I still say it is just dark in here. Um, and so this is what they were building. And so it was strong in the past, but through the storms, through the, through the storms of life, through, um, life cycles and different things happened in this, in this, um, relationship, they met the, and that, let me let, let me also say this is the card is telling about this relationship that they left. However, the card's not telling me how you guys met, but you guys, Aquarius and your person, I'm picking the up that this was is, is a thirty third party situation. However, this could very well be um, Aquarius that you left somebody. You let you walked away from somebody to go to somebody stable, okay? Um, or your person could have left you Aquarius in, f to go to somebody stable. But what I'm picking up is that this is third party. Somebody left a third part. Somebody left somebody for you Aquarius, or your or you left somebody. Aquarius for another person. That's what I'm getting. And this is what they're talking about. They're talking about this, the, the stable, um, why this person did the, the, the beginning of the relationship, the, uh, the state, the, the, the stability of this relationship. I can't talk. Come on, come on, come on. Um, this is this, this. Oh my goodness. The stability of the relationship is what they're talking about that in the past you met this person while they was married or either this person um or this person was single and they ghosted you left you or did not give you a chance and they went and married somebody else chose somebody else over you is this is this whole scenario here but now I'm here to tell you that they walked away from that person. They walked away from that person they was with because they know deep down in their heart that you and them have an unbreakable bond. It has, it has, the bond between you and them have stood the test of time. Even when they was in this relationship and they tried to run away from you, ghost you, tried to go and 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 um just act like you didn't exist and hurt you and try they it this this relationship still was a palm tree. It still was stable, secure. It still grew. The feeling still grew. This 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 bond it endured, even though this person was married. It 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 it, it, it never did stop growing. So this person realized that the relationship they they chose the wrong person and they just said forget it. I'm going to walk away from this and I'm going to go ahead and go after the one that I truly do love and want to be with. All right, so that's the past. The present, this person is your twin flame, 1111. There it is. That's why the bond is unbreakable, okay? And let me put this out there. These two people went through hell. I'm talking about this person and you. Whoever, whoever's who, they went through hell. These two people that was in this twin flame relationship went through hell. Okay. And went through the runner, chaser, all of that. And here it is, stability. This person walked away from their person to have a stable, healthy, unbreakable, loyal bond with you. This person is ready to commit to you. They're ready to take it slow. They're ready to do whatever it is that 
you would allow them to do. If you want to get married, they want to get married. If you want a court, they want a court. If you want a ring on it, they want a ring on it. Whatever it is that you want, they're going to meet you at the level that you would accept them at with this stability. Four of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. You could be dealing with an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Um, this person, when I clarified the Four of Wands, this person is wanting to write you. They want to not only to write you, they want to pour um, out all of the emotion and love that they um they want to tell you how they feel. I don't think this person ever really told you how they feel they felt about you and they always um kept you at a distance because they were married and they wanted they didn't want any conflict, they didn't want to involve you in a whole lot of conflict, but this person here now wants to let it rip. They want to let you know how they feel. They want to write you. They want to communicate with you. They want so much communication with you. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It could have been months. It could be years. It could be weeks. But when you're in a twin, twin flame relationship, that's a long time. And uh, I'm saying twin flame, but this could be a soulmate relationship. And if you're not into all of that, girlfriend, boyfriend, this can be um, just a relationship. Take it how it resonates with you. But whatever relationship it is, is deep, is rooted. It is um, very strong, um, unbreakable. It's a bond, okay? So many people have tried to break this bond. So many people. Okay, so future. <laughs> The future is the 10 of swords. So now we have air energy, which is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So in the future, um, someone feels like in the future, it's an ending. It's an ending that goes forth in the future. Someone um, is express, someone is thinks that someone has a horrible it's, this is a horrible ending someone feels like they've been betrayed um and they no longer want to be in this energy um i don't okay so when i clarified this it this is um the lady in waiting she's waiting um this person has been waiting a long time for this person to I've been waiting a long time for this message. It's been wait, waiting a long time for this message. This person has went through a lot um, waiting for this message, waiting for this person to finally make a decision. This person could make a decision to leave or to stay. This person, a lot of time went by. And this person here has been waiting patiently, has been waiting, okay, in love. Wishing, hoping, praying, just waiting. And this person felt in the future, they feel like they have been betrayed. This is the energy that this person is in when this person actually comes forth. Okay. All right. So this is the this is energy. This is this is this person's energy. It's feminine energy. Um, they've been waiting, but this person, when they come in, it's going to take them off guard. Um, and then it is going to um, make this person feel like um, they've been betrayed all these many years. This betrayal all this long time. Now you come. You've hurt me so much. Now you come. After all this time, now you come. I've been waiting all this time. It's this kind of energy. Right. And so that's in the future. So in order for this to go forth, if this is you, you're going to have to heal that. Because if this is your true love, your twin, and he went and he finally left this situation, I'm not saying, hey, right out in the sunset. 
However, what I am saying is that if this person finally left this person, I think that you should hear them out. At least hear them out. Hear this person out and um, come to some kind of compromise um, to see this thing through because this must be an important, um, and I don't say this, I don't say this, but this must be an important, um, an important, um, relationship, significant relationship. So I know that you still love this person because you have the rose close to, close to your heart. Um, you've been waiting for this person. You have not really been letting anybody in. So you're actually waiting for this person. So when they do come to you, you are feeling some type of way when they do come, but you defeat the purpose because you forget that you've been waiting. You getting, you finally getting what you've been waiting for. It's finally here. So you need to heal this so you can make the right choices in um, moving this thing forward. It's other ways you can get at this person for taking all this long time to come back. All right. You make him court you. You take your time. You don't give your body. You make him wait. Those are ways that you get that's constructive that make them pay attention that you made me wait. So now you're going to wait. That's the way you do that. Okay. So the future position <laughs> is the queen of swords <laughs> so you still this person is still in this energy okay so this person is still in this energy so much so that they've turned into the queen of swords okay which is fine I identify with the Queen of Swords. So that's fine that, that you come in as the Queen of Swords. Um, but just make sure that um, you don't cut somebody off that you're really supposed to be with. Because you've been waiting all this long time. So if you've been waiting all this long time, you might as well um, think about this thing. Sit down and think about this thing clearly. Um, make sure that you are actually not pushing this person away. The very thing that you've been wishing, hoping and praying for and waiting for all this long time and it's here and you cut it out. Okay. All right. So to make sure that you don't do that, when I clarified the polar bear, this tells me to make sure that you don't do that. Your ancestors are going, are going to to uh handle it they're gonna make sure that you don't sabotage this relationship because this thing you've been praying and worrying them to death about this person why they not coming why they not committing why they not leaving but now when it comes you're you're sabotaging it and the polar bear is your ancestors whenever you get this this is your ancestors, your spirit guides, everybody. Your spiritual team is going to get involved and make sure that you don't cut, cut this person out because you're hurt that they made you wait so long. So they're going to get involved and help you um, heal, the, heal your heart and make sound choices and decisions concerning this relationship. All right, so let's go to your love. Ooh, yes. Yeah, I've been talking a spell here. All right, let me get your love messages. Okay, so you are my light. You are my everything, my wish fulfillment. I can't wait to see you again. This person, you are their everything. You are... Um, just a ray of sunshine you are you make them so happy and um this person did not leave they person or did took all this long time it's a lot of factors in it it's fear it's um uh children it's dynamics that you really don't know about that kept this person um 
from taking a long time from you. Okay. Um, this is I'm healing my issues so we can have a have having healthy relationship. So they want you to know they're doing their work. They're healing. A lot of the time they didn't that they, they, they didn't come um, in a timely manner. They took a long time. They were healing their issues. That fear they had a lot of fear that they had to work through and heal. They had childhood wounding and issues that they had to heal. You don't want to connect with and be with somebody that is bringing baggage with them that have all of this stuff that they got to heal. So this person, well, spirit made them heal before they could come to you. So. Um, spirit wasn't having that no way. So you can blame that on spirit as well. Um, I have not shared my true feelings to you. I haven't showed my true feelings with you. I have not shared my true feelings to you yet because I am afraid you will reject my love. I just want to tell you my love is pure. So this person is afraid that you're going to reject them and they, they may be right. <laughs> you sending that, you sending that energy. You are, you are sending them that energy that you are um, ain't taking no mess. And you will cut them. If they don't come correct, you will cut them out. And you ain't playing. So um, you already sent that. And they picked that up. And that's why they feel like you're going to reject them. And so they're kind of fearful to come forward. Okay? All right. So your love oracle is... Okay. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. This person is going to send you a gift. This person is going to um, try to, um, is this, let me see something. Yeah. They, they want to send a message when you don't respond or um, you take too long to respond or you come cutting or whatever. This person is going to start sending you gifts and start to try to show you um, how they feel about you by sending gifts. And so, um, just be, just be very prayerful at this time. When this stuff start happening, just be prayerful that you will stay in the right energy and make the right decisions. Cause some people you need to cut them. Some people you gonna need to cut, but some people really, really, um, have changed and really, really want to um, make this work with you. And you don't want to, you've waited. You've waited all this time. That's the thing. You waited all this time. And so when they do come, you sabotage it because you're hurt. Why not start working on that heart chakra right now so you can receive the love that you deserve when it comes to you. How about that? Okay. All right. All right, Aquarius. That has been your reading. Um, I hope it resonated. Okay. And if it did, tell me how I did, guys. Share your stories. I want to hear them. Um, if, it's, if it did resonate, comment. Um, if you like, like, dislike, if you didn't share, don't keep this, don't keep this to yourself. Share. Um, if you're not subscribed, if I'm vibing with you and you vibing with me, subscribe. All right. So if you're not on my social media, definitely go to the description box and get that information and you can, um, get on all of them or you can get on one. It doesn't matter. It's all the same information. It's just linked. All right. So. What I want to tell you right now is I love you. Yes, you, 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 you. I love you. I'm sending love to you. I'm sending healing to you. And Trinity is out.